I'm Mike Bowers and I'm a photographer at large for The Guardian Australia. I'm talking pictures this morning with Channel 9 political reporter Amanda Kopp. Very warm welcome back. Thank you very much, Mike. Amanda, some weeks in Parliament, it's uh, what the with a capital WT, and this was one of those weeks, wasn't it? It sure was, and there was a lot going on. Peter Dutton likes to claim that he stopped the boats, and this time he stopped the refugees, or wants to, from Gaza. Look, we saw some pretty heated scenes in the House of Representatives. There certainly does seem to be, from the opposition, a wall of noise that comes up against the independents and the teals that is not present for others. It's a very intense debate, right? Emotions are running high. It's like a kindergarten class. Zali Stegel, I don't think I have ever seen her that angry. It was interesting, Tanya Plebisek led the uh, government over to go and sit with her when she was still up talking. No one likes being interrupted and so I'm sure there's some of these women sitting here being like why am I even here? What, what am I doing here? Beautiful David Rowe cartoon, The Dogs of War. Racism and bigotry, I think this was a great representation of dog whistles. Yes. What's that whistle? Ooh, Dutton. They're pretty mangy looking dogs of war, these two. One of the small things that I liked here was the briefcase with Australian visa yeah. discarded in the Just rubble over here. Fiona Kataskis has sort of hit the nail on the head. They could be Hamas, says uh, Netanyahu. They could be Hamas, says the food and medical aid trying to cross the border. They could be Hamas, says Peter Dutton, no refugees from Gaza. And here are the actual refugees. Saying they talk about what we could be, but never about what we are. Starving, homeless, injured, traumatised, exhausted, in desperate need of help. Which um, sometimes it takes the cartoonist to actually condense these things into a real point that sort of hits you in the face like a punch. Uh, lovely Cathy Wilcox, I'm a bit worried we might be alienating the Muslim voters with our stance on Gaza. And then we've got Peter Dutton here, hold, hold my, my beer. beer. And uh, about to take a big breath and uh, blow in the whistle, I think. <laughs> I would love this, Matt Golding. Today's Dutton risk is uh, dog whistle, divide in flame and new low. I don't think you're starting from a very good base when the lowest the, possible thing you have is dog uh, whistle. It only gets worse from that point <laughs> onwards. Um, Mark Knight has got um, Peter Dutton pulling in the welcome mat. Um, how silly of me when there's a war on, I should have taken you in. Oh, thank you, they yeah. say. As he whips away the uh, welcome mat and slams the door. Yeah, certainly not rolling out the welcome mat here. It certainly isn't. I did love Brett Lethbridge. He's got the uh, dut gun as, um, as immigration ray gun uh, here doing a little dance for uh, Mr Albanese. And Albanese saying, you're really dividing opinion in Australia, you know. I was so happy that ray gun got a shout out here. Yeah. Break dancing. It's gone out with a blaze of glory. Beautiful Cadelka. He's got <laughs> so wins be night. <laughs> no idea. The mayor's a liberal. This is referring to the fact that the Liberal Party missed the deadline for nominating local council election candidates. They sure did. And someone who's not very good at administration, I have a lot of sympathy for them. Certainly the um, state executive took out the trash when they sacked the <laughs> Liberal director, Richard Shields. Yeah, but who's going to pick it up with, uh, you know, bin night still happening? Yeah, the government might have hoped for a win on gambling reforms, but the odds aren't looking good, Amanda. I felt sorry for this poor little kid. Lovely Glenn Laliva cartoon. Yeah, he's looking pretty miserable here. He's just overwhelmed by all the betting ads. <laughs> Bit of a change from when you used to have your sporting heroes know, up on your right. walls. This is a lovely Matt Golding and right on target. It's if the media is free, you are the product. Very true. And look, it's not just sports betting. Same thing happens with social media yeah. as well. Facebook, Instagram, it's the same concept. All of it, yeah. Matt Bissett-Johnson, he's got the media saying, if only the human cost wasn't so profitable. Look, no comment, Mike. <laughs> I think that's probably very wise.